All right, man. We I was reading a, a side line a line report, the fan side, and uh, Robert Jones, Robert, <laughs> Robert Jebediah Freeman, <laughs> Robert Jones wrote this article that says the Lions receivers need, but not at seven up overall. Right. Let's just talk about what he said. Then I'm gonna destroy him at the end. Detroit Lions preparing for themselves for the draft, and then the people bring up history. You know, Mike Williams. Okay, for Mike Williams, you got Herman Moore, you got Johnny Mortensen. I mean, you got Calvin Johnson. Roy Williams brought back two first-round draft picks, but it says Lions are preparing themselves for the draft. However, Brad Holmes needs to think long before taking a receiver at seven. We are in the final blah, 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 blah. We are in the final, uh, let me find my play, weeks before the 21 draft. The commences is merely stone throw away at this point. While much can be debated between uh, now and the draft, the biggest thing the fans need to remember is that this is the starting point of Brad Holmes in the, in the Dan Campbell era. Not every need will be filled this fall. When the Lions kick off 2020 season, they will still be a team in transition at the team with many holes to fill. Rome wasn't building a day. I don't uh, think the Toga was even perfect in the day. This is a rebuild. It will take time, even if the Lions surprise everyone this fall and look sort of like an NFL team, even with five or six wins is a goal much higher than that. It will take time. That being said, the Lions do uh, – with their selection, the draft is very important. However, the first to first to their last pick, every single one counts if possible. The more building blocks that Grant, Grant Holmes can find in the draft, the closer the Lions will have been foundation upon they will attempt to be a build a championship team. Excuse me. Now we will know the hopeless list. History draft uh, Lions will read somewhat like this functional manual that was written by the Three Stooges of the likes of Matt Millen draft a receiver with Detroit's first pick three straight years. If if the NFL gave awards for the slapstick comedy, the Motor City Cats would have more than the rest of the league combined. Uh, but no, it wouldn't have because this dummy. I'm, it's just sad that these people are able, like Robert. What's his, what's this nigga name? It's sad like people like Robert Jones can write articles. He can write articles, but he don't know shit about football because they wouldn't have a cyber. Did you know that the Oakland Raiders? Ain't had a uh, first round picks resign since like 2008. Sorry, y'all. Laundry day it is what it is. You know, since 2008. That's he don't he don't know that though. You know what I'm saying? Talking about even back then, the shit get a slapstick to the Raiders. Remember Michael Huff and all the guys they drafted, but this era Brad Holmes and Daniel have brought Campbell has brought to all uh, hope to excuse me. This era Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell have brought hope to all the poor lost souls who lived and died in Honolulu Blue or Silver. Now all they must do is choose wisely, develop those players, repeat more seeds to build contenders. That being said, the whole building through the draft part of the equation will start with the Lions and number seven pick a pick. Now, man, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter as long as they get it right. Like the shit he trying to say, like we ain't nobody got real hope in Dan Campbell and Bob Quinn. I mean, just Dan Campbell, Bob, Brad Holmes and Bob Quinn. We don't got no real hope in him. If you've been a Lions fan as long as I have almost over 30 years, Almost 30 years, you already know. You already know it's a wait and see approach. Now, you got some of these young fans out here, they sign crackhead. Oh, crackhead Rob Jones, he was the greatest crackhead back, defensive back that I ever seen. He's gonna be, oh, Danny Sheldon surprises everybody and be the steal. Like, you got motherfuckers who just became Lion fans who, who, who just probably ain't even graduated high school, they just so optimistic. Real Lions fans is patient, wait, wait and see approach. But when you look at the draft order, you look at the draft. I'm gonna give y'all some give y'all some options. Okay, let's just talk about the draft order and the pick order. Okay, and like I said before, you're trying to build with a cornerstone. You got a solid left tackle. You know, really, if you really want to hit hit it off, you want to hit off with a Von Miller or um, a Barry Sanders or a really quarterback or an edge rusher. If you can find a special running back, you can find him, right? But you look at the draft order. Gives me a minute. Look at the draft order. You talking about Jacksonville gonna take a quarterback? He gonna take Trevor Lawrence. They already said it. Two is gonna be the New York Jets. They're going to take Wilson. San Francisco. I'm gonna just say they're probably gonna take Justin Fields. I don't think they're gonna take Mac Jones, right? All right, that's three off the board. I think Atlanta. They trying to trade out, but they gonna stay there. They are gonna take offensive linemen, right? Cincinnati gonna take Kyle Pitts. They gonna be dumb enough to take Kyle Pitts, right? So you go Miami. They gonna take Jamar Chase. So right now you got Lawrence Wilson Fields, in my opinion. Um, uh, Sewell, or a defensive player from, I'm going to just say Sewell, Kyle Pitts, and that Cincinnati, Jamar Chase. So at this point, what you're left with is Rashad Slater, Patrick Sertan, 
Devontae Smith, Trey Lance, which I don't believe in, uh, Waddle, Parsons, Mac Jones, J.C. Horn, Christian Darisaw, Petty. All right, those, and then you, I mean, if you want to reach Caleb Farley, if you like him, Owoso Kamara from uh, Notre Dame, Gregory Russo, uh, Aziz Allergier from uh, Allergy from uh, Georgia, um, Jalen Phillips, Greg Newsom the second from cornerback from uh, Northwestern, Christian Baymore, Najee Harris, Rashad Bateman, and then you left with Kyle Pitts. All right, we're going to go all the way down. So, honestly, sorry for the background noise, but honestly, who, I mean, who are you going to pick out of those? So you're gonna tell you know you're gonna tell me Trey Lance I don't he's development of quarterback this might be the best situation for him as far as way behind Jerry Goff but I don't believe in the staff they got to develop a quarterback um, Patrick Sertan you got a corner I mean if you like him you like him Rashad Slater I wouldn't be mad if they put him at right tackle and see what he can do Parsons he trash Mac Jones J C Hop J C Horn the corner really I mean Elijah Fear Tuckle Caleb Fairley come on are you really gonna take Smith I mean Lance over Smith you know he's not that good. You know, why do I can understand some people? I mean, either you trade back or you reach for, reach for somebody like Zayvon Collins. You know, people are making it like it's like they got options. You take Parsons, he he come on, he don't do nothing but but be the extra rusher and spy. Slater, I get it, he completes the offensive line. I'm all for it. But if you want an impact that's gonna make the Lions fun to watch, it's Smith. You talking about a Heisman Trophy winner? They got great route running ability, a guy that can run by you, a guy that you gotta respect. You you can't you can't press him because he get he get off press he beat you. You can't play off because he can run the route tree underneath. He can run out routes. You know you can't just play regular coverage and just stay in front of him because he can run by you. Smith is somebody or chases somebody that it's gonna be hard to stop. You can put him in a slot. You can put him on the outside. You know what I'm saying? You can stack him. Like he's somebody that you can do whatever with him and Chase. So would you really pass that up for Trey Lance, a guy that's gonna need a couple years and you don't have a track record of developing quarterbacks? You know, are you really are you really gonna say um uh quit Petty? I like Petty. I mean, really, to me at the seven pick is either just if, if somebody don't fall, but the guys that's probably won't be there. It's Justin Fields, Devontae Smith, Jamar Chase, Slater, um, or if you believe in Trey Lance. Me or you know, if you move down and take Zayvon College, I'm fine with it. I'll move down just for a future um a second the second this year. I move down for that. Depending on how far, you know, I would. You know, and I'm not on issue taking Zayvon Zayvon Collins and uh Jermaine Davis in the first Jamin Davis in the first round. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, video quest, all our social media links description. Wanna make a donation? Cash app CJ Good313 in the description. PayPal link there as well too. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Sorry for the background noise, but let me know what you guys think. Detroit Line Star playlist. Peace.